So today we are fishing for big monster jumbo giant pickerel, uh, deep summertime with worms. Uh, there's a big mark in there. It's a big one on the top and then there's about three bands smaller. That's a good fish on top. I like to see those bands kind of you know, shoot up and down. That's when you got active fish. Oh yeah, we got it. Wow. My God. It's a big fish. I think he's the biggest one yet. I just want to see him. It's coming up. Definitely got to be one of those big pickerel. Wow! He's even bigger! Oh my gosh! Got my other line out. Wow! That's a big pickerel! Wow, wow, that was a big fish. That's all right. I mean, if we're gonna be catching him, you know, probably 25, 30 pound test, but we are tight on them today. That is great with the worms too. Just, just amazing. Um, yeah, no, I just, it's all for the thrill. All for the thrill. Had that one pick roll. So I'm just jigging tight on the bottom. There's some good structure here. What it is, I am not sure. But there's structure and bait. So I did see a splash about the same water level. And there is a drop. So we got the drop. We got the structure. We got the bait. And uh, so that's going to attract game fish. Wow, this is something real good. Could be a big catfish. I don't know. Well, now could be coming up to the top. Whoa, 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 it's a, wow. Oh my goodness, that's a big pickerel. Oh boy, that was a big pickerel. <laughs> that was wild. That was super cool. Um, Yeah, this time of year, you're, you're just not gonna get those pickerels in. There's a nice, I just got caught up. I'm going to give you guys a little secret. If you're looking to catch big fish, and this is a all time fishing secret. If you're looking to get trophy fish, big fish, any kind, that's a all kinds of ways to do it up, but the whole basic principle. You're looking for big fish. A little secret. Worms. Wow, this is another good one. Let's see what he is. He's a good fish. Take it easy. Whoa! Even bigger pickerel! Wow, that is a beast! Wow! I'll take it easy on it. Wow! Beautiful fish! That is a pikey pickerel! Big pickerel fishing! Let's see if we can land him. Wow! Whoa! Oh boy! He gotta be a... Look how fat he is! Oh my goodness! I think that's definitely the biggest one of the year. Be in a jam if I get this guy up. I'm pretty sure he's taking the worm. These fish have got to be hungry. Wow, that is. Wow, that's just a girthy, girthy fish. You gotta be over six pounds easy. There's my blinders. 
sie hier anhockt. Let's slide him on his way. Whoa, that is a girthy, girthy pickle. Go ahead, buddy. Wow. here that's it's a mess same thing happened with those perch the other day that's it today we had those pickerel almost when I'm fishing with the worms like this and I'll do like the same for the cat catfish but not as much but it, you almost create like a almost like a craw jig so you kind of just put two with usually three is plenty and I'll keep that older build on it so it creates almost like a medusa head and that undulates in the water and you can catch anything with that obviously um so it's going to kind of like pulsate in the water and if you want to go nuts crazy you take one worm and string them out long ways on the bottom that last worm is almost like a, like a belt strip. So when it goes in the water, that's going to pulsate like that, like a crudgeon. And I'm just dropping them straight down. That pickerel felt like, wow, like I was stuck. Could be something down there. Um, are there better ways to go about this? Of course there is. But uh, this is what I'm doing. This is what I want to do. This is what we're going to do. Um, I did find some 15 pound leader, so I retied that up with the 15. So if we get another, we got a little bit of shot at getting them in. But, uh, well, you know, we're, we're hooking them. Um, we landed that one, that's what that's that's what counts. Got to see him. The rest is all fun. So I'm gonna go back through and see what I see and uh, drop them down. Some good stuff down there. You can see those fish are all scattered, kind of moved out different directions don't know why but i'm gonna work the worm through and see if we pick one up okay so i got some good marks down there that's a good fish i know that it's a nice one it's coming up Let's see what he is been hitting some big big pickerel I think he'd have gone off by now. It's about 20, 25 feet of water. Let's see what he is. Come on, mama. Whoa, he's one of those pickerel. Wow. Just knew I was getting those good marks. Let me get him on his way. I think I'll be okay without the net. Nice hook set. Ooh, I think I forgot to clear my pliers out and everything else, but okay. All right, it's a nice picky. Line up before I get back in. There's no way I hooked up again. It's gotta be. Maybe we did. We did. Oh, that's gotta be weed. Wait, it's a fish. It's a fish. Is he coming up? And I'm drifting through this weed bed too. Got a bunch of weeds. Um, so I'm using these here European night crawlers, uh, and those big pickerel that, that, that we're getting like that, those big pickerel, we probably can get them doing other things. Um, but I pretty much so can assure you that we wouldn't be getting those trophy white perch if we were doing 
something else, like if we were dropping those big worms, you might get them. I mean, I've gotten all kinds of stuff on giant worms. It's not going to be in the worm. But when I'm fishing with the worms, you just, uh, sky's the limit. That's something decent. Wow! That's a huge yellow perch. Wow, that's a big guy. That is a nuclear sized yellow perch. It's a eight, about 14, 15. Wow. I thought he was a little pickerel. So, wow, that's a big, that's a pumpkin seed. That's a big pumpkin seed. So I'm basically just walking that worm along the bottom. I'll give it a few cranks, it'll bring it up and then come back down. A couple cranks, bring it back down. Then I'll use the rod tip. Just walking that worm, kind of bounce it along the bottom, crawling it. There's the weeds, a little bit of weeds. Weird bottom here. And uh, fish are moving, coming, holding, and we're catching. But that's how I'm working the worms. Heavy mark, you can see the gray band in there. That's a hefty fish. Ooh. This is a good one. This is a good fish. Oh, it is he. Breaks off. It's a pickle. He's not. Wow. He's really pulling. That's a nice fish. Oh, my goodness. What is he? Oh, he's coming up, he's coming up. I just want to see. Wow, it's a big, big, holy smoke. Huge pickerel, huge. My Lord. I'm getting banged on the other rod too. I'm bring him around. Whoa, oh, my goodness. He gets off, he gets off. Beautiful fish. Wow. Holy oh, goodness. That's a big pickerel. I should get up that other line. Wow. How's he hooked? Intense, intense. I might try. We got something. Feels like it could be a caddy. It's kind of bobbling. I was right. White catfish. Very cool. Need to take that. Okay, we can get it. We can get it. Oh boy. I am psyched. Hoping to hit some smallies, but wow, just wow, amazing. We talked about the worms for the bit, but uh, let's talk about what we're using. I was using a 10 pound leader, I went to the 15 and we're landing more pickerel. Um, but this is just your basic Carolina rig, and you can drop on a plastic worm at the end if you want. Uh, you're not going to get that cool stuff, though. But I got a number four hook. Uh, it's an Eagle Claw bait holder, about 18 to 24 inches of that 
I was using 10 pound. I went over to 15, and you can definitely do 20 with these pick rope 30 pound. Um, I'm not looking to get them all. And we're getting good hook sets right at the beak, the mouth of the pick rope. Just the barrel swivel. That bead gets a lot of attention. So between your bead and your sinker going through the water, a lot of times that gets attention. And then they come up and go for your worm. Uh, the purchase sometimes they'll grab that. And your pick rope can grab that too. But that's how we live. That's just your basic Carolina rig. To our worms. I'm gonna put one more worm on. Get it nice and bubbled up. Oh, this is a big boy. This is a real big fish. It's got to be one of those big, big pick rolls. That's what we've been getting. Whoa! It's just amazing. Okay, I'm getting marks now. Worms, worm fishing for big pickerel. That's a delicate touch. That's a nice pickerel. Not one of those giant ones, but it's a nice one. There we go. And you want to check that there leader. Make sure it's not kinked. That's a bald eagle. Is it? Oh, that's a dinosaur bird. <laughs> it looks like a pterodactyl. I call them dinosaur birds. 